Welcome to an Excel video on how to embed interactive pivot charts and slicers in PowerPoint. On your screens, you can see a pivot chart and a region slicer. When I click on any region in the slicer, the pivot chart gets filtered according to the region selected. If we want to display these visuals in a PowerPoint presentation, normally we copy and paste them in a PowerPoint slide. However, copying and pasting would show only static versions of these visuals. In this video, we shall see how to embed these visuals in a PowerPoint slide and to maintain the interactivity as well. For that, first of all, we have to copy all the cells that encompass the pivot chart and the slicer. So let's select all the cells. Control C. Here you can see a blank PowerPoint presentation. Let's right click on the slide. In the paste options, you can see that the third option is the embed option. Click on embed or we can go to the paste option under the home tab, select the embed option here. Now we can see the chart and the filter embedded in the PowerPoint slide. Resize these. Now let's double click on the visuals. On double clicking, we are in the Excel sheet with all the Excel tabs available for editing. If I click on central, the pivot chart gets filtered according to the selection I've made. Let's see whether this is interactive in the presentation mode. For that, let's click on the slideshow view, click on the central region. We find that it does not filter the pivot chart and we move over to the next slide. Let's see how we can make this interactive in the slideshow mode. For that, we have to select both the visuals. Click on the Animations tab. We can see the animation group here. Let's expand all the options. The last option is OLE Action Verbs. OLE is Object Linking and Embedding. Essentially, we've embedded the Excel objects into PowerPoint. So let's expand this. We have two options, Edit and Open. Let's select the Edit mode. By default, the preview effect is checked. Let's click on OK. Now let's open the animation pane. This is the animation action that we've created just now. Let's expand this, click on timing. And under the timing tab, we can see an option triggers. Let's expand triggers. The triggers would tell PowerPoint when to activate this animation. Let's select the second option, start the effect on click off object three. So whenever the object is clicked, the animation will be activated. So let's click on OK, close the animation pane. Let's go to the slideshow mode, click on central. You get an alert saying Microsoft has identified a potential security concern. OLE actions have been blocked. If you choose to enable OLE actions, your computer may no longer be secure. Do not enable this content unless you trust the source of this presentation. Click on Enable because we are sure of the source of the presentation. Now we are in the Excel sheet. Let's click on Central. The data is filtered. However, this is in the Excel mode. If you want to see it in the PowerPoint mode, minimize this in the slideshow. The pivot chart filtered for the central region is displayed. Let's click on the southern region. It takes us to the Excel sheet. We have to select south here. We can see presentation with the pivot chart filtered for the southern region. If I want to see the pivot chart for the western region, let's click on west. We are in the Excel sheet. So let's click on west. However, we are not automatically taken to the slideshow mode. Let's click here and you can see the slideshow. In case I want to see all the regions, let's click here. We are in the Excel sheet. Let's remove all the filters and we are taken back to the slideshow mode. Hope you found this video useful. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. Our channel has a lot of useful content. Please subscribe to our channel and help us take the number of subscribers to the 1000 mark. While subscribing, please remember to click on the bell icon and to select the all option so that you shall get notified as soon as we upload new content in our channel. We thank all the subscribers and viewers for their continued support. See you again with yet another video. Have a great day.